Hello, friend, and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. Thank you for joining me. This prophetic encouragement comes from Garris Elkins from Medford, Oregon. Get a grip. There are some truths about God's nature that we need to take hold of. Once in our grasp, those truths will change how we see this life and what is happening in the world around us. The context in which a scripture was written is important to grasp so we can understand what a specific verse might be saying. Psalm 46.10 is one such verse. Be still, know that I am God. Those words were written in the context of war. Psalm 46 begins by saying, God is our refuge, he's our strength, and he will always be our help in time of trouble. That verse sets the stage for what follows. The psalm continues, talking about natural catastrophes, the protection of Jerusalem. Where God dwells in that city, it cannot be destroyed. The psalm discusses the beginning and the end of wars where the Lord will break the bow. He will snap the spears. He will burn the shields with fire. In the middle of all this talk about war, we are told to be still and know that the Lord is God even as conflict rages. The psalm ends by telling us, The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. We can be living in the middle of personal conflict. We can have a stillness in our soul if we have stepped into that spiritual and emotional space that is God's fortress. We will not have that peace if we go outside the enclosure, if we allow the allure of our fear to dictate our response. That enclosure is the only place where we will experience the stillness of God. This requires that every thought is taken captive. We take every thought captive and make it submit to God's truth. We need to get a grip on the truths about God. Holding on to those truths will begin to move us deeper into God's fortress. This is where we will experience new levels of God's peace. That fortress is a place of revelation where we will see God and his armies at work in ways not imagined when fear was blinding our sight. Hallelujah. Lord, this is truly the grip that we want to have, the grip that is firmly in your hand. Lord, that is one that trusts in you. Lord, if you tell us to be still, help us to do that. doesn't make sense in the natural mind. It it actually seems counterintuitive, but thank you, Lord, that you bring those foolish things of the world and and you confound the wise, starting with me. Lord, I pray right now that there's, that there's a stillness, that there's a greater revelation that arises on the inside of me, on the inside of my friend, Lord, that we would understand that you are God, you are fighting for us, and we don't have to make things happen in the natural. But if we are following you, if we are doing what you would have us to do, that, Lord Jesus, you will make it all things right, all things good, that you will work it out for my good, for my friend's good, for our brother Garris's good, for all of us, Father. That's what we want to grasp today. Lord, I pray that we grasp this, that we lay hold of it, and that we work it into our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.